Alina Rapakina versus Barbara Krajikova is the second semi-final for the ladies Wimbledon for 2024. And both have had different roads to get to this stage. Krajikova entered the tournament as the number 31 seed and would take on Kudamatova in the first round. And after dropping the second set, would fight back to win. 7-6, 6-7, 7-5. In the second round, she'd take on the qualifier Volley Nets. And after two tie breaks, would get to win straights. 7-6, 7-6. In the third round, she'd take on Monero, who had taken up Von Drusova along the way. And after win the first set easily, Monero would be forced to retire. Handy Krajikova the win, 6-love, 4-3 retirement. In the fourth round, she'd take on Collins, the 11th seed who had just taken out a Dadge Meyer in the previous round. And after Collins got injured in the second set, Krajikova would get through in straights, 7-5, 6-3, to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Krajikova would take on Ostapenko, the number 13 seed, who she'd only beaten twice in seven meetings. And after a close second set, would get through in straights, 6-4, 7-6, to advance to the semifinals. We're back in the end of the tournament as the number four seed, would take on Rus, the qualifier in the first round. There's no problem getting through in straights, 6-3, 6-1. In the second round, she'd take on Sigamund, and after dropping the second set, would win in three, 6-3, 3-6, 6-3. Third round, she'd Take on Wozniacki, who had just beaten Fernandez in the previous round. And this was no problem for Rabakina, demolishing Wozniacki in straights. 6 love, 6 1. In the fourth round, she'd take on the number 17 seed, Kalinskaya, who she'd had some troubles with in the past. And after winning the first set, unfortunately, Kalinskaya would have to retire, handing the win to Rabakina, 6 3, 3 love retirement, to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Rabakina would take on Svetolina, the number 21 seed, who had taken out Jabur along the way. This was easy for Rabakina getting through in straights. 6 3, 6 2, to advance to the semis. These were played two times before, with Krajikova winning both matches in in three sets, their last match happening on the indoor hard courts of Ostrava two years ago where Krajikova came back and won 6-4 in the final set. She actually went on to win the title and beating Sviantek in the final that week. So when she's in this kind of mood, Krajikova can be really dangerous and she's got to have the confidence over Rabakina in this matchup. If Krajikova is going to win this one, she needs to be aggressive and push Rabakina around. She knows how to beat Rabakina. She's done it twice before on the hard courts. Grass courts are obviously a little bit different and she also has to serve well as well to keep up with Rabakina's serve, which has been really good over the last couple of days. If Rabakina is going to win this one, she's going to have to serve well and frustrate Krajikova. Now, Penko couldn't do that. She kind of made a lot of errors and just didn't really push Krajikova around. When she did at times, she did get the advantage. So if Rabakina can push Krajikova around and serve big and be much cleaner than Ostapenko, she might be able to get the win here. Really fun matchup. The Head Dead makes this so exciting. Two former Grand Slam champions looking for another final. I've got to go with Rabakina, though, in three sets. I just think Rabakina, this time around, uh, two years later, is so much better than Krajikova is, and she wants this title so bad to get another Grand Slam to match Sabalenka with two Grand Slams. But let me know in the comments below who's making the final.